Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Al's Agology Mecca. Just reminding you to subscribe, comment, and share. Subscribe so that when new information is posted, you are the first to know and the first to share. Today we are going to be looking at the topic living organisms and the environment. Now the subject is human and social biology and we're starting with section A. So today we are going to be looking at the characteristics of living things. The specific objective to, is to describe the characteristics of living organisms. These are nutrition, respiration, excretion, growth, irritability, movement, and reproduction. This objective is linked to specific objective B1.27 in the HSB syllabus. The characteristics and features of living organisms. Non-living things are made of materials such as metal, stone, and plastic. Living things or organisms are made up of chemicals in units known as cells. The seven features of living organisms are nutrition, growth, movement, respiration, excretion, irritability, and reproduction. Only living things show all these features or characteristics. Now, nutrition. What is it and why it is important? Nutrition is the taking in of food into the body in order to make energy and provide the materials for building up the body parts. Digestion is the breakdown of complex organic food into a simpler form. So when you eat bread and bun and cakes, it is broken down into simpler form that can be digested. Organic food, as the name suggests, comes from living things or living organisms. All animals feed on plants or other animals. Most plants feed on inorganic or non-living substances such as water and carbon dioxide. These simple substances are built in the plant to form more complex organic materials. Now the whole process by which living plants make their own food is called photosynthesis. Growth and excretion. A measure of growth is an increase in weight or size by producing more cells. The chemical processes occurring in the body are called metabolism. As a result of the processes taking place in the body, waste matter is formed. The removal is called excretion. So waste matter like sweat and this is called excretion. However, the removal of undigested food from the intestine, such as feces, is called elimination or ejection and not excretion. Respiration and movement. Respiration involves the release of energy from food. All body activities, even during sleep, require energy. After the energy is released, waste materials such as water and carbon dioxide are excreted. Movement of the whole body or moving body parts is called 
locomotion. Irritability. All organisms are able to detect changes in their surroundings. Irritability is this ability to react to changes outside the body, like heat and coldness, as well as to internal changes. These changes or stimuli cause a reaction or a response. Example, a job with a pin will act as a stimulus in the skin. The withdrawal from it, possibly accompanied by a loud cry, is the response. Reproduction. Reproduction is the way living things can produce new individuals like themselves. The young is developed from an embryo formed from the fusion of two sex cells. This is called sexual reproduction and ensure the survival of the human race. There is also a sexual reproduction. This occurs when organisms reproduce without the fusion of sex cells. This may occur by budding when cells divide as in yeast or in plants where we have budding and grafting. Now, how do living things similar to machines. Some non-living things perform some of the characteristics mentioned. In the engine, the petrol burns in a process called combustion, where it combines with oxygen to release the energy from move, for movement. Nutrition in human is the petrol in the engine. Excretion in human is the exhaust gases in the engine, which is the use of carbon dioxide plus water. Irritability in human would be the voice from satellite navigation. And the respiration in human could be air intake and both would display movements. All right, so we have a summary of the characteristics nutrition or feeding this is the taking in of food into the body in order to produce energy and provide materials for building up the body cells and maintaining them growth the increase in size gained by producing more cells Excretion. This is the elimination of waste product produced by metabolism. Respiration. The release of energy from food substances to do work in the body. Most organisms take the oxygen from air to combine chemically with food to release energy. Movement. Locomotion of the whole body or moving body parts. Irritability. The ability to detect and react to stimuli or sensitivity. Reproduction, finally. This is the ability to produce new individuals. Here we come to the end of our presentation on the characteristics of living organisms. Here are some review questions. In what ways do living and non-living things differ? Give two reasons why nutrition is needed in humans. What are organisms? State two ways in which you grow. What is the name of the chemical processes occurring in the body?
Why is elimination of undigested food not excretion? What is the removal of undigested food from the intestine called? Why is respiration so important? What is it called when energy is released from nutrients in the body's cell? What is the difference between being irritable and irritability? Stay tuned to Al's Agrology Mecca for more in the series of our HSB syllabus. Remember now to subscribe, comment, and share. Stay tuned!